Okay guys, so per request, this video is going to be different than the previous one. I'm going to slow this down and show you the first five moves of what I consider a more standard Ellie Ryan opening. So normally, I would have three units at the end of turn zero. I would normally either make a second warrior here or wake a second polytar here. But in this case, I put my warrior on this polytar and I woke him up. He pushed the warrior forward and I already see my second village. So with that warrior being one space from that village, I'm not going to make any more units. And the reason for that, you'll see here, um, is because if I did make another unit, I would not be able to afford... Forestry on forestry before taking my second village. Forestry costs six stars, and we have seven now. And that ruin I just opened made me a liar because now I have 17. But I'm sure you get the idea. So normally, three units on turn zero so you can explore faster unless a polytar pushes you into your second village in which case you're only going to make two units and that's so you can afford forestry and then of course you capture your second village and you upgrade your villages which that's pretty much standard. I mean, you always want to go and get that workshop bonus when you upgrade the first time. And then the second time, you want to get that plus five star bonus. And I don't know where this random video came from. It just jumped in there for some reason. And you also saw I kind of went explorer heavy on this game more than I should have. I mean, my explorer for my second village was uh, fairly warranted because I already knew there was something over there to the, well, basically over in, why are my drawing controls working? Great. My whole thing just crashed. Okay, there we go. It's back. So basically the reason I got an explorer from here was because, nope. They're gone again. Excuse me while I figure these controls out. Okay, it's back. It obviously crashed and then came. It, it brought itself back again. It restarted. But I mean, I already knew Jin was in this direction. So, And Jin was kind enough to give me climbing. So I knew my explorer would go over those mountains. Because he always goes in the direction of clouds. Scratch that. More specifically, he always goes in the direction of clouds that are exactly two squares from the village. And honestly, there's not much more to say about this game. I mean, it's kind of, it was kind of a really lucky spawn for me. Um, my region there that you see that I spawned in is very advantageous for uh, Ellie Ryan. I mean, even if I started losing in this game, I could retreat back to my capital and I just make. Yeah, let me show you. I would just make a few lines of catapults. And I could pretty much defend this, defend my capital from any possible incursions from the sea. And then I already have this great defensive line of mountains here that no knights could cross. So even if I did end up losing this game, I'm pretty sure I could force a draw with a spawn like this. I 
And speaking of forcing a draw, in my my next video, it's already had a game. I have a game that wrapped up recently. Um, I'm pretty much versed Barter and Luxador the whole game, and eventually they beat me back to my capital. But after several failed attempts, nobody captures my capital, so the game is declared a draw. So look for that video next time. And Barter doesn't have much time left here. I mean, he's versing quite a few mythical super units. Got <laughs> two Navalons attacking him and two dragons. And you can see, I actually circled that when I was originally playing the game before. And that was to show that I realized I made a mistake after I'd already done it. Uh, because since I didn't put units in those squares where he can make ports, he could possibly pop another giant in his capital. But in this case, he couldn't afford it. He resigned probably fairly unhappy for being rushed by what anybody would think is an unfair amount of super units dragons and navalons so now I have to deal with his unhappy bot but luckily his bot is already preoccupied over there with Jin Jin's got the worst spawn you could imagine I mean, it's no reason he hasn't been able to take any other villages except for his capital. Because, I mean, he's literally in the middle of the map. I think probably dead center. Actually, let me see, can I even calculate that? So we know the corner's here. Okay, so he's like one square off. No, yeah, maybe one square at the most off from being dead center of the map. And that is definitely literally the worst spawn. He's getting attacked from all sides at once. Corner is the best. If you can't spawn in a corner, and I mean spawning maybe even here on the side would be okay. But on the side, you can be attacked from more directions than in the corner still. But the middle, especially the dead middle like that, he kind of spawned. He spawned dead. I don't know if that's an actual term. I just made, I just made a mistake. Well, what would normally be a mistake when I moved my dragon in here without even looking? I mean, before I moved this knight up through here I move this dragon right here and I normally don't lead with my dragons up into the clouds because I mean they could have been battleships or catapults there waiting for them but in this case I mean I have a lot of dragons what do I have right now I have Two, no, yeah, two full grown fire dragons and three baby dragons. So I kind of felt at the time that that dragon was disposable. And look, I think he did die because now I have two fire dragons and two baby dragons. So one of my baby dragons grew up, and that one I sent in there first is dead, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, not a good idea to lead with your, lead with your dragons. Unless you've got a lot of them, I guess. And that's one reason I hate doing a 1v1 with Ellie Ryan on a medium or small map. Because there's going to be water in between, most undoubtedly. And your enemy is going to spam battleships. And a dragon 
A full-grown fire dragon is really no more powerful than a defender battleship. And this game's obviously over, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and quit. So look for that video next time where I show you how you can potentially force a draw. Until then, I hope this was uh, at least somewhat entertaining or informative.